Testing 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ichi ni -san. Hello guys, how's it going? And welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Today, very, very exciting video as we're going to be doing the power turn on of the HP Reverb D2 version 2. That means we're going to turn it on for the very first time together. We're going to test it out see how it goes, make sure it works properly, and all those various different things. So guys, but before, do remember that we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb D2 version 2, sponsored by HP, so you'll be the ones to send it. Another winner will get to, get to receive a brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, the cyber chair, and everything that goes with it. And a third winner will get a fifth the US dollar voucher that you can redeem against your Oculus MetaQuest store, your Viveport or your Steam VR store. It'd be completely up to you as to how you want to spend the money. So guys, link in the description below and make sure to be part of the notification squad as you potentially could be notified as the winner. That's right. All right, guys. So first of all, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to... Here we have the cable to put inside of the actual HP reverb. Now I've already turned on the power down below, but I haven't actually switched it on. So we just remove this first. And then what we do is we take this, this cable here, like so, and then basically we're just going to put it inside. So we have to make it facing inwards, if I remember correctly. Do make sure to read the instructions properly when you're doing this kind of stuff. There we go. Oh, this is new. This is new. Oh, guys, there is something new that I did not know. Ah, this is very interesting. What is this? This seems to be, look at this. This seems to be something new that is coming out of the headset. I'm very curious about this. Why is this coming out? Oh, wow. This comes out, guys. This is something new inside of the VR headset, which I did not know about on the version 2. This did not exist on the version 1. So we have this, and then we put it in, and then it's very solid. It's there, it doesn't come off. And then if we remove it, we have this. So this maybe is a spacer. Now I'm going to be talking to HP next week about all the various different things that they have done on the version 2, but this looks like it's a spacer of some kind to give more space. So perhaps it's meant for people who wear glasses or maybe because normally on the Oculus Quest, a spacer is used for those who wear glasses. So it's very possible. I'm not quite sure, but because I want the best FOV as possible and I have lens adapters, by the way, although I did not put them inside of the VR headset just yet. So maybe I'm just gonna leave them first and then I will do a refresher video in the future where I compare with and without the spacer. This is very interesting. So uh, let me just put the cable back inside. So let me remove this again. Let me leave the spacer. And then I'm going to put the cable in there. Okay, it's inside. The cable is in there, as you can see. Just bring it up. And then I put this back on, like so. There we go. So there's a spacer. This is very new. Oh, okay. And then let's just remove the uh, filters together. So let's do it together. One, two, three. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Okay, there's one. One taken off. And then let's take the, the other one off. Okay, here we go. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba All right. Awesome. Excellent. So we took this off. Now what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to turn it on, first of all, and then it's going to take me through a tutorial. I'm going to have to set up my play space, all these kind of things. Now, if you want to see the video, how to set all that up, link in the description below as to how to do that. I'm going to cut, I'm going to do all the tutorial thing and all these kind of things. And then I will see you in just a minute. We're going to go into Steam VR. All right, guys, so the good news is that after I actually did the power turn on, Windows Mixed Reality did not ask me to redo my play space, nor did it request me to do a new tutorial that you have to go through when you install it for the first time. 
and nor did I have to calibrate my controllers. This is because of course I had already installed Mixed Reality and did all this before. So unless you uninstall it, reinstall it, or you purge the cache or anything like that, then you will have to redo all those various things. So the great thing is that the moment I did the power turn on, I was thrown inside of my Steam VR. Now, as you can tell, my controllers are not aligned with the actual controllers. Now, this is a bug by Steam or Windows Mixed Reality. I'm not quite sure. So all you have to do in order to make sure that, you know, they realign is just press on your home button and then go inside of your Windows Mixed Reality. And by the way, you can either uh, move your headset from left to right and then look down and then normally it should be there or you can go to your PC press on the Windows and Y button and then again and then normally it should bring you directly although that's what it used to do before so perhaps this time around uh, there we go yep it works so now we're inside and you can see that the controllers are back in in front of me and then I just go here and it saved my previous playing so of course my floor is very high because I was uh, sitting down at the time I mean I'm sitting down now but it was hide for for standing up so let's just go inside of steam vr because there are a few things by the way that i have noticed about the vr headset including the spacer um i'm actually using now my vr dash wave uh, dot store you get a five percent discount if you order guys um lens prescription adapters and if i don't use the spacer my eyes would be completely touching the actual VR wave lens adapters, which means that if you take off the spacer, you will get a better field of view. It gets you closer to the action guys. So for those who don't wear glasses or for those who don't need any prescription lens adapters, you will have a much better field of view than you would if you're someone like me, I have to use the spacer, unfortunately, because otherwise my eyes will touch them. But luckily they managed to make sure that of course, by using the spacer, um, you know, then we I can still use the VR Wave lens prescription adapters. I don't have to reorder any, or they don't have to adapt their design in any way. They fit the V2 without any issues whatsoever. And I will do a separate video about that. Okay, so the other thing that I noticed that's a little bit different from the version one is that the actual gasket or facial interface now, it's possible that the in version one, because I've been using it for so long, it actually has taken a little bit the shape of my face. Uh, but for the version two, I find that it's a little bit wider and also slimmer, which means that when I put my version one gasket on my V2 headset, I cannot see any light whatsoever under my nose. I feel completely 100% immersed inside. However, with the version two, because it's slimmer, the sponge and the gasket seems to be a little bit wider. I can see about 0.3 mm, I would say. Not a lot, you know, but I can definitely see some light under my nose, which I don't remember because it's so long ago. I will have to go and view uh, the video where I did the unboxing and when I gave my initial impressions, whether that was the same case or whether it was different because right now I can clearly see some light under my nose, even though it's not that much, of course, as I just mentioned, only maybe 0.3 of mm. But on the version two, I cannot see any light whatsoever under my nose. I am completely immersed in VR. I mean, if I look straight, I will not notice the light underneath, to be honest with you. Uh, compared, for example, to the Pico Neo 3 Pro, I cannot see any light whatsoever. Compared to the Oculus Quest 1, which I used to have, I cannot see any light below. Uh, compared to the Oculus Go, I cannot see light any below. And compared to the Pico Neo, 3, Neo 2, sorry, I cannot also see any light below. So compared to those VR headsets, it is milestone way better. I feel like it's almost complete darkness. However, if I look down, boom, I can see the light. So that's the difference. I cannot see any glaring. I cannot see any things shining on or obstructing my view on the actual lenses. Everything is okay so far. Uh, in terms of screen door, it seems to be more or less the same. Uh, I would say to the previous V1, uh, I can see a tiny, teeny, 
teeny bit of screen door kind of effect in some of the shadow areas, uh, sorry, the bright, bright areas, not so much the shadow areas, um, but perhaps it's exactly the same on uh, the V1. So I will do a separate video about, you know, screen door, about graphics and all of this stuff. So do make sure to make sure that you're part of the notification squad and enable your notification bell so that you don't miss that video. And also so you can be notified potentially as the winner of our G2 giveaway and the uh, cyber shoes with the gaming station giveaway, as well as, of course, the voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem for your Oculus Meta Quest Store, Viveport and SteamVR Store, like here. Any way you want to spend your money will be completely up to you. All right, so let's go to population one and let's see whether it's going to be any better. All right, so we're inside of population one. Now, by the way, the music that you, sorry, not the music, the microphone that you were hearing before was from the HP Reverb G2. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to turn off the sound from the G2 because I don't want to be flagged for copyright for the music uh, whilst we're actually going to be playing. So the microphone now is coming back from the Ant Leon microphone. And Ant Leon, thank you so much, by the way for uh, providing us the microphones, for sponsoring us, for being our partner. We really appreciate it. Your microphones are super awesome. Okay, so there we go, let's go in. And also, of course, I can't give you my feedback on the actual uh, speakers at this moment in time because I'm using the microphone, but I will give you my feedback at the end of this video. So do make sure to watch until the end. All right, so what's gonna be very interesting uh, when using the G2 version two, Apparently it's supposed to be better tracking, so let's see what happens when I'm actually going to be holding a gun, for example. And I'm holding it close towards me, it still sticks a little bit. So when I have my controllers under the headset, as you can see the gun stays there, and then it sticks a little bit like that. In terms of moving the gun, everything seems to be working okay. Now, I have a light that is shining towards me. I highly do not recommend that. Normally for the G2, you need to shine the light against the wall, for example. But so far, okay, no issue. As you can see, oh, let me close this, there we go. As you can see, it's working perfectly fine. It's not, it's not getting, there's no bouncing or anything. Oh, I just pressed the wrong button. Okay, here we go. Okay, so everything is holding okay. If I hold my hand separately uh, apart, so if I go apart, then the hand, of course, of the gun comes off the gun, but that's just the gameplay. If I move the hands together, as you can see, there's no issue with the tracking whatsoever. Everything is good. If I aim towards Oculus Quest 218, it's absolutely fine. I'm shooting him without any issues. As you can see, I can aim, no issues whatsoever. And I can reload pretty fast without any issues either. Everything's good on here. All right, so now we're actually inside of the game and uh, let's see how it does in terms of real gameplay. The controllers still make as much noise as the previous controllers, so you can probably hear all the clicking going on. I have to say that uh, it's performing very well at the moment. The gameplay is very smooth. When I walk, there's no glitching or anything like that with the actual graphics everything is super smooth the PC is responding very well to it and I think the cable is actually much better than the previous cable that I had in the version 1 because in version 1 I did have quite a few glitches when I was playing uh, population 1 but this time around it Any seems to be all shrinking. good good nice little banana there we go so I just received the G2 version 2 today, so I'm doing a review of it. Okay. So I'm trying to stay the focused. G2, the G2 what? The HP what, Reverb what G2. It? Okay. The PC VR headset. Okay. Ah, so I see. Okay. So you're playing with PC now? Yeah, I'm playing with PC now. And the cable? Yes, and the cable, that's right. Ah, how do you move around? Uh, I'm sitting down at the moment. Okay, and you use the controller to turn, 
yourself? No, I, I mean, yeah, I can use a controller or I can use myself. Okay. Both can. So you, the cable is behind you, behind your head. Yeah, my cable's behind my head, that's right. So Hello. when I got the we gun headset. on my hand, as you can see, it goes pretty, pretty far down. There's no issue whatsoever if I move the gun left to right. No issue twisting it up, down. It doesn't feel like it's leaving me or anything Coming. like that. All right, time to go and do some damage. Okay, so now, as you can see on the video, I took off my headphones uh, and the microphone, the end Leon microphone. So we're using the HP uh, Reverb G2 version 2 microphone. But I really wanted to test the uh, speakers now because on the version 1, I had some problems uh, depending on how I uh, turn the speakers. I would have some crackling that would happen, that would occur. So I just wanted to see now how the speakers are performing because it's not something I've tested before. So let me just amp the, the sound. There we go. So now we're at 100% for, for the sound itself. Yeah, the sound definitely feels very, very immersive. And uh, if I just play around a little bit, there's no crackling whatsoever when I move the actual speakers. So the speakers are doing an amazing job. Yeah, the speakers are doing an absolute amazing job. So uh, this is definitely a much, much better improvement uh, compared to the HP Reverb G2 version 1 for sure. So I think HP have done a great job here for the version 2 in terms of uh, comparing the first version and the second version of their VR headset. Uh, as you can tell, grabbing stuff and being able to, to drink and open the can super fast. This is no issue whatsoever. And then being able to shake to charge. It's very fast. Everything is done really, really well. As you can see, loading this gun is not an issue whatsoever. And then being able to aim is not an issue and you know you, as you can see on the video I have a light that's actually directed in my towards my face and this is really something you don't want to be doing alright so now let's do some climbing just want to show you when you're trying to climb really really high buildings of course you have to go very fast and as you can tell I'm not having any issues whatsoever I'm able to climb all the way to the top without losing tracking at all and then we can go in here, we can go here and see where our enemies are, if we can see them. <coughs> there you go, supercharged. So normally what would happen is if I'm using the HP Reverb G2 version 1 and I had the gun on my controller here for X amount of time, what would happen is the controller would actually start to float and on track. But with version 2, the tracking is much better because the gun stays here. So as long as I stay here, it doesn't stick. It doesn't just float around like that because I'm not moving. Every time you're not moving with the HP Reverb G2 version 1, and you move your hand, your your virtual hand will just stick in the in, in place. And then if you start to move again, it will pick up your movement again. So it's very strange but in version 2 I can just stay like this forever if I want and it will follow the movement of my hand it will not just drift away on its own or it won't just stick it only sticks when I go under the headset then you can see it's there it does this kind of thing right and then the moment that my hand is tracked by the camera then it it grabs it again that's basically what happens but in between it's really good because what's happening is that my hand nothing is drifting away everything is still being tracked and I think this is really one of the most amazing things that they've been able to work on with the version 2 of the HP Reverb because now I can stay still whether it's here whether it's with my hands to my legs 
Nothing is drifting. Everything is still, still here and still, still tracking me really, really well. So, this is a great improvement in terms of the HP tracking system. I have to, I have to admit, I'm very impressed by that. Very impressed by that. It definitely makes the gameplay feel much more natural, um, just much more immersive, and you know, not having to see things drifting away like that when I'm not moving. It's just really makes a big difference actually. I'm really, really happy about that. Now after using the HP Reverb G2 V2 for a while, I have to admit that the audio with the Valve speakers is so much more better than compared to the HP Reverb G2 version 1. Two things. First of all, there's no crackling if I move the actual speakers. There's no crackling whatsoever. That is completely fixed. I have no issue of any kind. The sound is super clear. The second thing is, is that in the actual volume, the volume is much louder on the second HP Reverb G2 that I have on the version 2 compared to my version 1, where on version 1, even at 100%, I didn't feel like it was loud enough. I, I, I felt like I wasn't really immersed in that. I'm sure it was safer for my ears, of course, or for my hearing, so it wouldn't damage my hearing as much. But at least now I can put it up to 80 or 90 if I want to and, you know, not put it to 100 because 100 now is very, is actually much louder than it is compared to uh, before using the HP Reverb G2 version 1. Now I have no uh, issues whatsoever with the sound. It's nice and loud. makes me feel very immersed. And I just don't have any issues of any kind, so it's really cool. So guys, it's very clear that the HP Reverb G2 version 2 is definitely much better in terms of the tracking compared to its little brother or little sister, which is the HP Reverb G2 version 1. The other thing that I really like, of course, is the spacer. The fact that some of you will have the option to take this off and to basically have more field of view if you're not wearing glasses or if you don't have lens prescription adapters because when you don't have the lens prescription adapters basically your adapters will actually touch your eyeball but then once you put these on then it will be exactly the same as the HP Reverb G2 version 1. So for us we're not going to lose any field of view whatsoever but for those who don't wear specs or who don't have lens prescription adapters fantastic to you guys! More FOV for you, that will be fantastic. And I just want to show you very quickly that my lens adapters are inside here, as you can see, and you know, they can fit. And I will do a separate video about this, uh, you know, with the differences with lens adapters and without. Now, guys, by the way, for, um, for population one, very, very interesting. When I started to tell people I was using the HP Reverb G2, suddenly I get booted out of my squad for no reasons. This happened about three different times, which is bloody annoying. And then also, for example, people would not hear me or they couldn't, or I couldn't hear them or bugs starting to happen. I get a lot of glitches. Now the glitches are definitely not coming from the cable. I confirmed this because my cable is brand new and it wasn't, it's not doing any glitching of any kind in other various different uh, apps. So I don't have any issues in other apps. So there's definitely something going on. As you know, Publish One is owned by Facebook, of course, uh, or by Meta, um, you know, and they could have an algorithm there to quiet down those who are not using a Meta Quest. Don't want to go into cons conspiracy theories, of course, but do leave a comment below if these kind of things happen to you or do a test. Let people know that you're not using a Meta Quest and see whether your gameplay starts to change and come back and leave a comment below because I'd love to have this conversation with you guys. All right, guys, do remember to enter to win the potentially the HP Reverb G2 version 2, whew, sponsored by HP, so they'll be the ones giving it to you, as well as the cyber shoes with the gaming station, the cyber chair, the cyber carpet, all these kind of things. And also the third winner will get a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against your Oculus MetaQuest store, Viveport, or Steam VR store. All right, guys, see you in the comments below and also in another video very soon. Bye for now.